despite the fact that I have pretty fairy lights and a few candles on in the back, that's not to set the scene and have a pretty background. That's mostly because I live in a tiny village and the power cut keeps going off, so these candles are helping me to see my way in the dark. I am going to university in four days, which is very exciting. If you watched my last video and you looked in the description, then you will see that I'm starting to do university videos. So to kick it off, I thought I would do a small Primark haul of the stuff that I've got for university this year. I originally was going to do a normal size haul of everything I got, but then it took up two car loads and I decided I probably wouldn't have time to edit all that crap. So I've just done a Primark haul instead. First thing up is I got a few couple of boots because I'm moving up north where the weather is not quite as nice as down here. So the first pair I got were these brown suede look-alike, well they're not suede, they're look-alike suede with this like elasticy, multicoloured bit here, tiny little heel buckle, no zips, just slip-ons. I had a pair like this last year from Primark and I loved them, I wore them all winter and yeah, I can't, these were a size 6. I can't quite remember the prices of all these. A lot of them still have their tags on, but if I can remember them, I'll put them down below. But I think these might have been about £15. The next pair of boots I got were these black pair. I really wanted a pair of boots that had a bit more of a heel on for, you know, if you're going out for dinner or something with some jeans. So these are just a pair of simple black boots. Again, that suede lookalike with a zip. This is a fake zip, it actually has its real zip here. Just a black almost invisible and it's done up zip and I believe these were £15. Next up on the university shop, some socks. I, I literally had no socks. Does anybody do this? They get to a part of the year and then they realise they have no socks left and they don't know where they've gone? Because that's what happens to me. So, socks. They were, I don't know, £1.50? I don't know. £2.50. Gone up in the price of socks. Because I'm moving into a flat with mitt there's 10 of us and it's boys and girls so I wanted to get some pyjamas that I could actually wear into the kitchen in the morning and not look like a slob. Got these paisley straight legs they're very flowy but when you wear them on they actually just look like kind of baggy trousers which is really nice they've got the little bow at the top these were £6. Go with that I just got this purple top which goes with the purple it's got one of these like hidden supports in them so when you walk out with that bra on it's not gonna show anything these were 250 six pounds i got these ones these are a bit more elasticated around the top and a bit more pajamery they've just got these roses down them and they're just exactly the same style really they've got the bow but they're a bit more elasticated at the top so you probably know these were pajamas a bit more, but I just liked them. Got the same top, but I got it in a turquoise to go with the turquoise flowers, and these were two fifty as well. So bargain, can't go wrong, and I love new pajamas. So my Primark search were flannels. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, you know how much I love the Lush Ultra Blend. Ends up, but it means that I need to use flannel all the time so I just got some dark purple ones and some white ones so they can go on either wash and I'm kind of trying to do like a purpley pinky shabby chic kind of room so I thought they went well for my bathroom. Next up is more socks! Liners, these are like the ones with the little uh, lace edgings, kind of like the ones you used to get in primary school but I think these are really cute when you're wearing like pumps or um, low top converses, I've got a new pair of them so I thought they'd be nice for just like shoving on to go to lectures or something so I look semi presentable. I then got some of these seamless footsy non-slip soles, they're the lace ones, they're for going in pumps and stuff. Finally, I got the um, microfiber shoe liners, these are for the gym, these are fabulous. Um, a couple of years ago I did a gym bag video and it was really popular so I think I might do that again for you guys when I get up there so you can see my workout routine. But these are really good because they're like for your feet whilst you're at the gym so when you sweat, it's not quite as disgusting. Another pair of socks, but not quite as needed. These are the two pair of cosy socks. I don't think these are the big ones. I think these are the, like the semi-small ones, like the ankle socks. Um, I was gonna get some slippers to go in the flat, but then I thought, realistically, I'm probably never gonna wear them, and I'm more likely to have cosy socks. And plus, they're nice to like just cuddle up and watch a film in. So the biggest reason I really went into Primark was to get some shoes. 
because I'm going to university, I have a 20 minute walk from my flat until my lecture theatre and I'm not going to be wanting to wear heels or boots every day, especially out clubbing as well. Primark flats are my favourite type of flats to get, they are so comfy and they're just so cheap to replace as well. So I got a couple of pairs of flats. The first pair of flats I got were these navy blue fake suede gold hardware pair. I thought they were really nice having a different colour. I think these were six pounds. I then got some white, I like to call these like genie pumps because of this top. But um, yeah, white flats. These are gonna last me about two days before they get wrecked, but I thought they were nice. Maybe I'll keep them for the spring. <laughs> Finally, in flats for outerwear, these were £5 actually. These are just some black lace detailing flats. I wear these sort of stuff every single day if I get a chance. I just, I live in pumps. These were £10, but they are these. They are these ultra sparkly flats. And I got these for going out clubbing. When I went in Malia, all I wore was flats. I am a heels girl through and through, and I probably wear, will wear heels, but I thought for freshest week, flats will come to my rescue. Another miscellaneous thing I got, but always really handy, are these over-the-door hooks. There's actually one missing, so I got a bit of a discount. Woohoo! But these are really handy. They just slip on over your door. I'm more thinking for my... I'm more thinking for my bathroom, so I can hang, hang up towels and my dressing gown and that sort of stuff just keeps everything off the floor and if you're like me I tend to throw everything on it. <laughs> Very weird but necessity that I got from Primark and this is on the girly side is this. This is one of those backless strapless bras. It's basically just very sticky here hence why there's the plastic and you join it together and you don't need to worry about what style top you've got on, dress, whatever, it's backless and strapless. Perfect for nights out and stuff when you've got a top on or a dress and you're like, great, I have no bar to go with this. They save your life. I went in to pick up some fairy lights. I'm taking some fairy lights with me from Primark that are like clips so you can hang pictures in and a lot of university requirements are that you're not allowed fairy lights that you plug into the wall. But Primark do their homeware ones which are battery powered which is fantastic. Ikea also do them but Ikea's has gone up to something like £20 now and these are like three or six pound. Some 20 LED battery op operated colourful daisy ones. So these were three pound. And then following them up, I got 15 LED lights, which are six pound, and they are these little roses. So they are these little roses, and I'm planning on these going around my mirror or my notice board. Let's get the borings out of the way. Two fitted sheets. These are quite good at Primark, actually. They're boring, but um, fundamental. They're like me, and you hate having to redo your bed these are the easiest ones to get so the first bedding set i got was this duvet cover set it's called paris in love and as you can see there's a nice little tower there and there is like a checkerboard and in the little bits of these are all little paris landmarks um, and then on the back it's like that reversible just pink crisscross i thought this was super pretty and it's my light wash one that i got was this black duvet cover set it is in like a black and it's got like these oh you can pick it up there's like patterns of like birds and leaves and roses and stuff on it i don't believe this is reversible but um yeah i just thought this was nice also i need a black and a like so i can do washing and have one of each which if you know me you know i love my bed to look pretty what is the cushions i bought so I have some cushions that I'm taking from home, but I wanted to buy some that was specifically aimed at those bed sheets. So the first one that I got was this heart cushion. Three pound, just a standard light pink fluffy cushion, but always nice for snuggling into when you're watching the film. This grey and gold splattered cushion. This was four pounds, so a bit more expensive. And it's actually a bit smaller, but um, yeah, I just thought this was really super cute. The final cushion that I got was my favourite, this Aztec cushion. This was, doesn't have a tub on, but I think it was around the same ballpark figure, and I always say this, but Primark cushions are so cheap compared to other places, I don't understand. <laughs> but this one, I think, is so nice. I think it looks so much more expensive. So it's just got the Aztec print with the black, the pink, and the gold, so it goes perfectly with the colours for my room. So that one is a perfect buy. The final thing I got for my bed was, it is 10 pounds, and it is this huge, fluffy throw. These are my lifesavers. I love these for cuddling up in 
watching movies and stuff and they just make you feel a little bit more like you're at home and stuff so I love this very much and I'm excited to throw this on the bed that was everything I got for university if you're going off to university soon have an amazing time give me a thumbs up and check out everything down below I will see you very soon for my next university series vlogs and yeah make sure to like comment and subscribe and I will see you very soon bye